sir, I'm Ryan on my side. You just made me laugh with your cartoons, get your bandage and other song. Alex and Dandy, um, Martha, Lord, I can see my Andy friend, it's so funny. Ah, uh, it is, you haven't upset him, it's hilarious. Perhaps. Ryan on my phone, you can take the piss out of me next. I'm sure there's something on my channel you would want to take the piss out of. And viewers, I'll play it for you. So see me, Ryan. I got fuck all. Hello Enjoy. all, it's Andy the Gabby Cabby here. I'm currently waiting for Alex Spellfield who is returning home from his first class trip to Vegas. I'm his taxi driver today. The seats on that plane are as soft as Carol Valderman's jelly wobblers. Over here, Alex. It's Andy the Gabby Cabby. Andy? Why does that name sound so familiar? Andy! Hi Ian, how are you doing? Are you bubbling? No, I'm confused. Oh, now I remember. Alex, aren't you gonna give your good buddy Andy a hug? No Andy, I only give hugs to special people such as Jimmy Savile and Katie Hopkins. <laughs> Besides, you smell like petrol. You're spending too much time um... in the garage. Alex, you're being very disrespectful. Apologize or else I'm not giving you a ride. It's freedom of speech, so don't try and cancel me from your taxi service. Oh, like when the yeah. BBC fired me from Radio Leeds. How would you like it if I said your haircut makes you look like a paintbrush? You better shushy shushy, you guardian reading champagne sipping snowflake socialist. I am this close to calling an Uber on my tippy tappy. Sorry, Alex. I'm a bit hungry, that's all. Say no more. I think a delicious meal from my local pub will do you good. Let's head to the Lamley in Nottingham. Andy, welcome to my local pub. I wonder where landlady Karen is. Hello, Alex. How was your trip to Vegas? Well, I banged so many celebrities you wouldn't believe it. It was literally jelly wobblers for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Can we please just order some food? And either Gabby Gobshite wants to nibble on your jelly wobble as Karen. Sounds like Andy wants the Lamy special. Relax and enjoy the ride. I'm your new taxi driver. I just hope you like gum. There seems to be a misunderstanding here. I just want faggots and peas, please. Oh, so you're a sausage man. Bangers and mash sounds like a good idea, actually. Karen, my dear. Can you bash this snowflake with the biggest sausage you have? Sorry, Andy, but none of my staff are willing to donate their meat to you. All our male staff are straight white men. No box stickers at the Lamley, I'm afraid. That's right. No bullshittery from this old Karen. We at the Lamley do not accept the woke folk. That is why we turn the police away when they pay us a visit. Karen, I would like a pint of Stella, please. That will be ten pounds. Jesus. Ten pound a pint. No, thank you. I don't accept bullshittery either. I'm off to the weather spoons. <laughs> I would wipe my ass with a ten pound note. But since I have a Japanese toilet that cost over nine grand, I don't even need to wipe. I have always wondered what it's like to use a Japanese toilet. It's kind of like getting sprayed by Jimmy Savile's water gun. Guess how many dinghy divers it takes to clog a toilet? <laughs> Good evening, Chunkies, and welcome to the Voice of Reason. I am your host, Alex Belfield. And today we are joined by the greatest man on television, Jimmy Savile. How are you? I want to start off by saying a big thank you to everyone who donated to Alex's charity. Right. Thanks I to you, I am back from the grave and ready to fix things once again. So thank you. Jimmy, that's excellent. Now, I want to ask you some questions. Let's start with this. 
What was the last thing you fixed, and why was it broken? I was staying at a nice lovely bed and breakfast when a young woman dropped a pork sausage on my lap.